guys. So for those of you who don't know, my name is Trish and this is my testimony. Um, when I first heard about Jesus, it was at Sunday school and I was about four years old. Um, I prayed along with the Sunday school leaders to invite Jesus into my heart um, and I believed in him then but I didn't really know much about him. But we weren't um, regular church attenders. And um, as I grew older, I became disillusioned by the way that people are and how cruel they can be sometimes, often for no apparent reason. So I was a, a soft-hearted kid, so school was especially hard for me. Um, all the bullies and the struggle to fit in and being betrayed by friends. By the time I was in my teens, I had turned my back on church and religion and had become a complete cynic, apart from my friends who I learned not to fully trust either. Um, I decided in my heart to hate everyone before I'd even met them because I figured that if I already hated them, then anything they did or said to hurt me wouldn't hurt as much. Um, I carried so much anger and hurt around with me, it was, it was actually exhausting. Um, but one day, after I'd finished high school, I came across some people who genuinely loved Jesus. And it showed in the way that they treated others, especially the poor and the outcasts of society. They treated them not only with kindness, but as equals, as friends. Um, Church wasn't just a religious exercise to them, it was something they lived and spoke and breathed. And it drew me in and I got to know Jesus, you know, this Jesus who had made them so different to everyone else that I knew. And the more I got to know him, the more I changed as well. I came to understand why humanity is so broken and that people deal with it in different ways. Um, some of us, we keep it inside and we try and, and bury our hurt and our pain. Um, but we all lash out at sometimes, um, especially, you know, towards our families. But, um, but for some people, often when they're being cruel to others, it's because that they are hurting and broken on the inside. Um, because they've been hurt at some point. Um, but God's love is greater than all of our brokenness. And now, now I love everyone genuinely and without fear of how they might respond because I know that I am loved by God and they are too. And when I say without fear of how they respond, I mean, I still have fear. I still worry sometimes. You know, I still get hurt. But it doesn't hold me back and it doesn't stop me from, from loving people and from, from experiencing God's love and having genuine friendships. And yeah. So God is good and as broken as this world is, he is making all things new. And it starts when we really allow him to work inside of us. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.